Hey there, Lily here, and I want to show you something really cool that I tried this morning and it totally worked. Uh, contouring with a really dark foundation. Actually, the darkest foundation that Limelight sells, which is this one, and it's called MB8. So, I do have some makeup on because I just made a video about uh, how to do makeup for a really natural, beautiful look for somebody who's wanting to dabble in makeup but is really nervous to. So I do have that makeup on, but I, I just kind of scrubbed off the contouring I had on my forehead and then filled it back in with some of my foundation to kind of take that away so that I can demonstrate this. Because as long as I've got my camera set up here and I've got a few minutes, let's do another video. So I'm gonna take MB8, and again, this is wax foundation. So you need to uh, warm it up a little bit on your finger. You can see that's really dark. This is gonna look crazy for a minute. What I love to tell people, okay, I'm just, okay, I guess I should tell you what I'm doing. Whoops, wrong side. Um, I'm gonna put it up here in my contour line. If I were using, oh, I keep going for the wrong one. If I were using, you know, powder, I would be brushing powder on right here, but I'm gonna show you how you buff out these darker colors with your sponge and then you have a nice contour. So Limelight's foundation is the number one selling foundation, the number one selling professional foundation for over 50 years. And when Limelight made products available to the public, they are making this foundation available to the public for the first time. So it's really exciting to be able to share this um, with you guys and even for me to use it myself because it's not one that was available to regular people. That's why most people don't know about this foundation and haven't been using it because it wasn't available unless you were a professional makeup artist or somebody was doing your makeup professionally. So now I'm gonna take my blender full. I was just touching it so it's very brown now. And I'm going to do this motion. Let's see. It's kind of a rolling dabbing motion. That's how I blend with the blender full. The best sponge I've ever used. The best cosmetic sponge. Okay, and you can see how dark it is. Just watch. I'll go, I'll try to just do it and go fast. And you'll just see how it will kind of disappear. I'm pushing it kind of up into my hairline. and I'm just rolling, rolling, rolling. And what will happen is, it's going to just kind of work its way in. Some of it will, of course, end up on the sponge, but you're going to have a beautiful contour that gives you that kind of sun, kind of touched by the sun look. I don't know how it looks to you guys on camera but it actually it actually looks really good right now so I could stop right there the sliding sometimes let me see but can you see how the edge disappeared I don't know how to get it. I'll, I'll check it before I post it. But, so I took the darkest foundation, I basically drew it on my face, right up into my hairline, then I took my sponge and I just worked it through. I wish you could see what it looks like in person because it looks like I have been totally out in the sun getting like a gorgeous tan on my face, but then I, but because I kept it up here and then just blended it really, you know, softly until it just kind of like great, is the word great gradiates like it just kind of like blends into nothing so I have the brightness of my face which is you know for my foundation and concealer and you know my brightening makeup but then I have this gorgeous tan that's happening but I've maintained the brightness of my face so that's what I love about contouring and I already had some contour on so I didn't do it this time but I would take that same dark cream foundation and I would just take make a line right there like on mm -hmm, there 
and I would just do the same thing and I would just buff it out and then you would have like a defined cheekbone. So it actually, you've heard people use the term skinny face. I hate those terms. I think they're so tacky, but it does give you a little bit of a more chiseled look. It does kind of uh, make your face a little bit thinner looking for sure because um, it, it just kind of chisel, chisels you out a little bit. So if you've watched any of my videos, you know I always contour, go around the face, uh, down that line, and then I'll do, I didn't do it this time, but I'll do a little bit down the sides of my nose, and then you would just carefully uh, buff that out. And yeah, you've, you've got it. So anyways, I just want to show you that uh, you can contour with a really dark foundation. Some people prefer that. So if you want to contour that way, you just want to order, you know, along with your regular foundation, jump to the darkest color and order that also. And you'll have the ability to contour. And that would be maybe if you want, yeah, like a creamier contour compared to maybe the, the powder bronzer, which honestly, I think they're both great. It, this is completely a matter of preference, but I, I don't think you can go wrong. The foundation, I can tell you, will last longer. I've been going through the bronzer a lot quicker. You can see that. Uh, the bronzer is great, but I do think the, I do think this will last a lot longer because it is 50% pigment. Pigment, uh, you don't need very much and I'll bet you could get months and months out of this, like multiple months where I'll bet the bronzer you would go through, um, I'll bet two months, two and a half months if you're using it every day. So yeah, because I've been with Limelight for, I've probably had this a month and a half. And you can see, I mean, I've totally hit bottom. So it's up to you. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that as an alternative. And thank you for listening. If you're still watching this, thank you, because I know that I ramble and I go on and on. So thank you for being my friend <laughs> and for for listening to me. But I hope it kind of gives you some ideas of possibilities and fun things you can do. I'm going to stop talking now. Have such a good day.